Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ, my little YouTube family. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Now I know who truly cared to look me up. And I love you all, and I still pray for each and every person who didn't find me and resubscribe. Because it's not about numbers. I've always said that. It's just like, this was my, this was my church, you know. But shoot, was just is just a way to say what I can't say here. Some of y'all go there too, and that's great because that information needs to get out. But anyway, today I'm going to share another prophecy, and I'm not real sure of this person. Um, I know I've heard them before. Perhaps you you're more familiar with them. Their name is Pollux. That's how what they go by. P o l l o x. And the title they gave this message is, Where is the Kingdom of God? Now, um, it says it was posted on here, Prophecy 444, or I'm sorry, 444 Prophecy News on July 26th, which, let's see, today is Tuesday, July 27th, and it's 2.19 p.m. Okay, where is the kingdom of God? Now they, let's see, wait a minute, the 25th. They must have gotten it the 25th, 6.31 a.m. All right, now the scriptural references they've put in the beginning. Luke chapter 17, verse 20, partial part of it, and 21. The kingdom of God cometh not with observation in other words you don't see it verse 21 neither shall they say behold here it is or behold there for lo the kingdom of God is within you it's actually up here in your pineal gland Satan let that out to the his followers, those that weren't really with the Lord. That's how the New Age stuff got started. The yoga, trying to access your spiritual mind. Uh, because Satan knew. And they just, just like with the stars, God put the uh, sun and the moon for light by day and a light for night. All the stars and the moving stars, which we call planets, in the sky for seasons and days, months, and years. Or I probably said that backwards. <laughs> days, months, seasons, years, whatever. And what did Satan and his minions do with it? They turned it into astrology. How to tell your fortune, which is ridiculous. All right, so anyway. Getting back to this, I wanted to make that disclaimer. We do have a pineal gland, and it is how God communicates with us. And there are videos you can find on ways to partially decalcify your pineal gland. And I don't even know how. I don't have a video on it. I think Grafted in Team Jesus does, maybe. Um... You could just do a search for it. It's like a holistic treatment you can do that will help you. That's why I'm trying to come off of pharmaceutical meds. Because I believe they help to calcify your pineal gland, especially the antidepressant. As I come off of it, I got to where I was only every two days taking... I'm not even on a big dose. It's just a small maintenance kind of dose. And I started taking them every other day. And praise God, I wasn't having any of that paresthesia that makes you feel like you stuck your, your, out, your plug into the outlet and accidentally had your fingers on the prongs and you go, mm. it's kind of like that, only not quite as severe, but enough to make you very uncomfortable. All day. I mean, up and down, up and down. 
I didn't have any of that. And I was like, praise God, this has got to be his will. Because I'd been praying for him to tell me how to do it. <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of getting off the subject. But just to throw in a little extra here. I'm trying to come off of... The pharmaceuticals only cost me, believe it or not. If I don't order any... Even the PRNs. I can get a huge bottle of Motrin. 800 milligrams for four bucks. Who wouldn't? Okay, so I'm still going to take that. But the tramadol, I am so glad the Lord allowed that to start causing me problems. So my last two went in the trash. And so, the, the, anyway, the point is, if I just get the four most important ones, it's like under 30 bucks. But just two of those, like the Calm with magnesium. And I found a source to get, it's just magnesium. I don't know if it'll help as well as the Calm, but I'm going to try it. And um, I can't even remember the source. I'll try to find it and link it if, if I feel these are doing any good. I don't, I'll let you know. They should be here in a few days. But the point is, I had put in my description box for if anybody would like to pitch in a few dollars to help me. This month, I had to buy so many supplements. It just turned out that I ran out all at the same time. And when you get them all at the same month, it's well over $100. Now, if I just need one or two, it's not a problem. But anyway, I'm going to end it there. That's my goal. And if the Lord is willing, if if he, I don't really want to use a doctor's help. But if I have to, I will. Because I have to come off clonopin, which is for the muscle spasms in my gut. And I don't want to get into all of my symptoms and all the mess and it all started with a hepatitis B three of the things that they're giving now and that was 31 32 years ago yep and here I am had to move in a senior care facility at 56 years old don't feel sorry for me there's some people you know what have Passed on and not to a happy place because of the recent one. Let's get going, shall we? And let's talk about this message. Okay. <clears throat> I, I guess I got started on all that because I was describing the pineal gland. and Oh, well. Um, that's why I, start, I put my, my PayPal in the description box. Because... The one lady that's helping me has been helping me get what I do get so far. And I'm starting NAC. You want to get on N-acetylcysteine even if you took it. Um, there are some videos. You go look them up yourself on Brideon and BitChute. If you can't find them, you let me know. And I'll hunt for them. And... and email you the link now do not just put your email address in the comments you need to tell me what you want okay like please find me the link to how to detox from the jab if Say that's it. If you want to leave your email address in comments, tell me what you want. Okay, let's move on. I'm burning up. Still haven't stopped the low-grade fevers, but I'm counting on healing. I am I am declaring my healing. I'm going to be healed because by His stripes we are healed. Right, y'all? By His stripes we are healed. It's in the Bible. And I could find that for you if you want, but so can you. Let me tell you how to find a scripture if you're kind of new to 
the Bible and how to find a verse, pick your favorite search engine. I always revert to Google. I don't know why. It's just, I got images. It's just easier and I always get what I want. So, much as I kind of hate Google right now, um, I go to Google. You might like DuckDuckGo or some other one. Type in what you do know. Like I would type in, and by his stripes we are healed. And sure enough, underneath will come a list of the scripture, the site, that verse, that part you said, and maybe the whole thing. And you might have just what you need right there. Or if you want to read above it and below it, click on it and go there. You might go to Bible Hub. You might... I never see Blue Letter Bible pull up. They they somehow don't go there. They want you to go to them. I go to blueletterbible.org. And there's a very little search bar. But you, if you know the words exactly, like, by his stripes, if you just put that in and click enter, it'll pull it up. But if you have one word wrong, it won't. It'll say no results. It's not like going to Google or one of them others that will understand what you're trying to say. Okay, enough of that. The situation, this is the message now. The situation in America is unraveling under the table. You only hear what is happening on top of the table. Now in parentheses it says government and media lies. I don't know if Jesus said that or if this person is interpreting that. That's in parentheses. You may think you can ascertain the time frame for all to roll out, but that would be erroneous. Washington is like a beehive gone mad, but all the action is underground. My will will be done in my time frame, not yours. Through though the time for preparation has come to an end. Whoa. The time for preparation has come to an end. Are you ready for whatever? It is like the space between the acts of a play. The scene will quickly change and the interregnum totally forgotten. Now I said, does she mean interim? Inter I clicked on that. <laughs> Forgot I could do this on a MacBook. It says, this thing's been so faithful, y'all. My my YouTube family paid for this, and uh, it has been very faithful. Okay. Interregnum. Interregnum. Uh, the, they have the hashtag on the ER, but who cares? A partial, hold on, a period when normal government is suspended, especially between successive reigns or regimes, or an interval or pause, the interregnum between the discovery of radioactivity and its detailed understanding. Okay, who knows how long that space was. Okay, so that's what, the, and it said it was from the 1600s. So I doubt this person knew to use that word. The scene will quickly change in the interregnum totally forgotten. Because the action will proceed like lightning thereafter. That's pretty quick. I am removing many from this world. Now, this is the part I don't quite understand. You listen to it 
and see if the Holy Spirit gives you a good understanding. Because I'm thinking one thing and it might mean another because the Bride of Christ, the 144K to me is not many. I am removing many from this world and many more will soon pass. Does that not indicate death? Oh my gosh, a lot of people have been dying. Do you know what? From it. The word exigencies, that's another one I looked up. And it's also from the 1600s. And it's like an urgency. The word exigencies applies to this moment. And it's urgency. Let me click on it. An urgent need or demand. Women worked long hours when the exigencies of the family required it. Okay. The word exigencies applies to this moment. Although things appear to be stable for you, Mystery Babylon, other parts of the world are in extremes. Pray for them. Now the word is M-E-I-S. I looked that up. There's no such word. I think that's a typo. He's saying pray for them. So I guess other parts of the world that haven't been, you know, gotten the inoculation, pray for them. I know uh, Germany has been in a mess. Germany's been flooded out. What did I read about yesterday? China. They just let some levees open and let water from all the rain just fill the cities. And people are walking through the streets with whatever they could carry. I saw that on a little video yesterday. All right. Behind closed doors, the great ones are very busy putting the final touches on the quote, the great work of the ages, excuse me, unquote. Now, I had not heard that. Behind closed doors, the great ones, and that's in small letters, are very busy putting the final touches on the the great work of the ages all for naught in other words you know all for naught for no re it's not going to come to anything as i will upset their apple cart very shortly though they will fool themselves thinking that they are still in control of all and sundry. They think they are still in control of all, I think that means people, and sundry is the things we buy and eat. That's how I'm seeing it. They want you to think the same, but it is all lies. I am in total control of the entire universe. The test continues. Be at peace. And then it says, Hide a little while longer, my children. Before you know it, you will be in my arms and you will be home, the wedding supper of the Lamb. I thought, that's kind of a strange ending, but I go for that. So, he's not, sure, he's not telling the whole picture. He's not saying, I'm taking my little remnant, and then I'm sending them back to you. Don't worry, because they're going to help you eat, and, and they're going to help you find clean water, and they're going to help protect you. He's not saying all that. But that is what's going to happen. 
which is why their plants are for naught. All right, it just says end. Now, let me read you. Let me go over here to Psalms 2. Just read you the first part. I love this psalm. The reign of the Lord's anointed. All right. Verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? That's what he's talking about. It's vain for them to be planning what they're planning. Because it's not going to happen, he's saying. Verse 2. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. You think that Trump and Biden were at odds with the election? Do you think all this recounting the votes is going to matter? They're taking counsel together with Obama, who will be the Antichrist. Anyway, I'm getting off subject again. But the kings of the earth, like Russia, China, Israel, set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Verse 4, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, and the Lord shall have them in derision. Verse 5, then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. 5, I mean 6, yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. You, let's see, how much longer is that? It's not very much longer. Um, I'll go ahead and read it. <laughs> I just love this psalm. It is so good. Verse 8, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Hallelujah. Put your trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Heart. Lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. Proverbs 3 5 and 6. With that, I'll say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over all of us and our our computers, devices, whatever you watch YouTube with, and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.